And welcome to UHW TNA. I am Manuel Maximo along with I am Kyrie Paramore, the boy Tiva over a Chiba. And welcome, bienvenidos. Today we're gonna have a great show for you today. Unfortunately we don't know what it is. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, apparently someone forgot to book the show. Hmm. And did it last minute. Oh, wait. Well, hold on here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I did hear rumors that Mr. Smith, a general manager, was going to be here tonight. And here he is. You may cut the music. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cathedral here on Career Sim for UHW DNA. I would like to show my appreciation and give you my utmost thanks to our loyal fans who showed up here today, despite the fact that the last three shows have been cancelled. Those shows were canceled because the staff here seems to think that they can undermine my authority. But we'll see how that goes when they have no place to wrestle anymore. Allow me to tell you about the show we have in store for you today. We will have Sorsha Ferrari facing off against none other than Crimson Shadow. Our women's champion Justine will be facing her challenger, Chiyoko, in a non-title match. And the United Universal Champion will be defending his title versus none other than Wolfie Kessel. But before... Before we get to any of those matches, our challenger's choice champion will be defending his belt, and I will name his challenger right now. Tyler Corvus, you are being honored with the position of being the challenger for that belt. As for that belt stipulation, you get to choose the type of match you wish to have versus Mr. James Icarus III. And that match is next. Thank you, everyone.
Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have two title matches tonight, and one of them being the Challenger's Choice Championship match coming up in just a few moments. I think this is going to be a very interesting show. Yes. Well, without, it certainly well, any, is. well, tonight our referee will be uh, none other than Alfie Denzel. And without any further ado, it is time for our first match. This match, scheduled for one fall, it is for the Challengers Choice Championship. Introducing first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 165 pounds at a height of 5 foot 11. He is the challenger, Tyler Corvus. Oh, here, take it. Yeah. Whoa, Arizona's got two mics. That's insane. Anyway, well, appears that Mr. Smith, as he calls himself, apparently he put me in this match tonight, and I, since it's the Challenger's Choice Championship, I get to pick this stipulation. Now, when that was announced, I had a lot of thoughts going through my head. Could I pick a no disqualification match? Could I pick a steel cage match? Could I pick no holds barred, false count anywhere, whatever. However, I decided to go with a best two out of three match with no holds barred rules. So with that being said, and if you will on calm, bring out the champion. All right, and all right, and his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 194 pounds at a height of five foot ten. This is the Challenger's Choice Champion, James Icarus the Third.
um, it appears that James is out here right next to us at the commentary table. Why? I... Uh, Mr. Icarus, you do realize you have a match. Oh, he's just putting his shiny on the table. Yay, shiny! Well, normally he's supposed to give it to the referee, but... Anyway. We're just waiting for the... We're just waiting for the bell to ring. <laughs> oh, Tyler is looking excited there. I got it. The bell has rung, and now we're ready to go. You know, I'm kind of waiting for him to say Kawabunga now. <laughs> oh, and. Icarus with the kick there now. And going yeah, straight with those knees to the face. face. Oh. Yes. Oh my god. Oh. Pile driver. Now he's going for the pan. One, two, three. Whoa. <laughs> There's one. Well, that ball. was quick. Yes, ladies Wait. and gentlemen. Your winner of the first fall, James Icarus the third. Oh my god, that's like so totally Oh I feel like people are being robbed here. Oh my god. Well that's the thing, uh, James looks like he's trying to win this match as quickly as possible. Remember now it's no holds barred as well. Oh my god, are we gonna see some blood? I hope we're not gonna see some blood. Holy shit, oh my god. Oh, I get so queasy when it's around blood. Mm. Well, then thank goodness he didn't choose a first blood match then. I know, right? I, I seriously, I'd, I'd probably have to like go, go to the bathroom or something if I even saw the side of it. Oh. Well, regardless, the Tyler is back up. James pretty much caught caught him off guard. James going off the ropes. Oh, oh my god, it's shining black. Oh. Poor Tyler. Poor, poor, poor Tyler. And going it, for it, the looks pin. Like, it looks like he's going for the pin. One, two. This could no. be. No. He kicked out. No. He kicked out. Oh, he kicked Jesus, out. thank the Lord. I really shouldn't be saying that because I'm in a church. Oh. Well, it's alright. This church is kind of is pretty much abandoned. That's why we were able to get it. But regardless, no. But he could be watching us from upstairs. <laughs> don't you know? Oh. Oh, regardless, J uh, James Icarus with a couple of kicks, then he hits it off with a basement drop kick right to the face of Tyler. Oh my. Now Tyler going off the ropes and... Oh! Tyler quickly with a haymaker punch. Oh my gosh, that, that looks so painful. That looks totally painful. Oh. Well, let's see what Tyler is going to do here. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, James has the first fall. Oh, and he's just going for those punches right now. Ooh. And a leaping shoulder block. Awesome.
And now he's just doing the shoves, and he just shoves him, and now he's bouncing off from the ropes, and he drops uh, him comes to the face. Ooh. Beautiful drop kick by by Tyler. But he has to move quickly, trying to get a pin, and here he comes with the pin. We got one, two, and no, only a two count. Wait, what's he saying? What's he saying? I can't hear. I sent him to come here, and now Tyler in control of the match with a kick to the gut. What is Tyler going to be thinking? Oh, Tyler looks mad right now. He just slapped him on the face. And again, another slap. And every slap, he calls him a name. He's called him an asshole, a uh. douchebag, a jerk. And another slap. He just growled? And he just growled? Oh my god. I don't know, but he just continues slapping. Tyler going off the ropes now. Oh, he goes <laughs> for a rage punch. Just... He is, oh, he is now fully enraged. He looks like he's going to go super sad. Doesn't he look like that? Oh, wow. Never, oh! James with that face breaker. Out of nowhere. Oh, poor baby. And now James in control of the match, going straight to Tyler, stomping him on, on the chest there. Picking him up just, oh, assisting him up just to get him a, give him a roundhouse kick. Going off the ropes comes in, and here comes that spinning heel kick, oh. That's so painful, how painful. That title looks so pretty. Doesn't it look pretty? Oh my god, it looks so pretty. Oh, couple of se another series of kicks going back and forth. Yes, the title looks nice. Is it? Is it? Is it made out of gold? I hope it's made out of gold. Yes, it is made out of. That is made out of gold. Oh. I hope 24 carats, or maybe 30, I don't know. Wait, what is he doing? What is he doing? Is he's it going fly? up the top rope. Yes, it looks like he's going off the top rope. He looks like he's ready to fly. Oh, here comes But no, Tyler getting oh out of the way God. just in time. Like, I can't believe he landed that hard. It looks so painful. Oh. James was going for the flying into the sun, but he missed. And now Tyler. Taking him right into the middle of the ring. That is a smart move. And now he's just stopping him. Tyler going off the rope now, hitting that rolling thunder, connecting, oh, right into the stomach. In the stomach? Oh, God, I hope he's not going to throw up. Ew. Regardless, Tyler in control of the match now. He just growled again. Did you hear that? I know I'm not the only one that heard that. Heard that. I did too, but no way. He's going for it. The structure of freedom's vengeance. He's got it locked in right in the center of the ring. Why is James saying no all the time? I'm so confused. Uh... No, it means he's not tapping up. But no, James taps. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the second fall.
Tyler Corvus, it is now tied 1 1 each. Next four. You still have like one fall each? Wow. Yep. Which means the final fall will determine who will be the new, or who will be the uh, Challenger's Choice champion. Oh my god! Oh. That does not sound good. James trying to go for uh, charging up to Tyler. Tyler doing the drop, uh, drop toe hold right onto the turnbuckle. And now Tyler in complete control of the match here. Tyler going off the ropes. And let's see what's going to do here. Oh. Wait, what, what just happened? Oh, oh my and god. James with that drop he kick stopping. Kick. Ow. Just stopping Tyler in his tracks. <laughs> and now let's see what's going to happen here. See what James is thinking. Oh, and now James with a series of oh punches. My oh my god. And now catching him with a front face lock. Oh, this is going to be pretty intense to see what happens here. Oh, and I kick right to the midsection. James is going to do whatever it takes to try to keep his title. Trying to go, oh, stairway to heaven, he calls it. There's an actual stairway to heaven? No, that that's the name of his move. But that, what? What? You, you have to, uh, you have to buy it. Anyway. You, uh, well, you would think James would go straight for the pin here, but no, he's picking up Tyler once again. Irish whip off the ropes. Comes, and, uh oh, try, oh! He just took Tyler and just launched him up in the air. Letting him land, and now James coming over to the commentary table once again. But why? I don't get it. I hear it, but... What, is he, is he looking at that shiny right now? Oh yeah, he, yeah. he's grabbing the he's shiny! Gra yeah, he's grabbing his, he's grabbing his, uh, cha uh, championship belt. Now you got to remember, this is no hold barred, so he can use that thing as a weapon. And that's exactly oh what he's going God, to do. Oh no, it's going to get stained! Uh, oh. And I hope that's going to be hard to take off, and it's just, oh... But still, here comes James trying to go for... Oh! oh. James trying to... James trying to hit Tyler with the... With the belt, but... Tyler with the dropkick, it looks like he hit himself with it. Did he... Wow. Yeah, he did. Oh. Tyler going for the now. cover. Uh, One, two, two three. three. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler has done it. We have a new Challenger's Choice Champion in Tyler Corvus. Really? Yay!
Ladies and gentlemen, this your winner and new Challenger's Choice Champion, Tyler Corvus. Like, congratulations, Tyler! You did awesome! Yes, you did! Yay! And there goes Tyler celebrating with the with the fans here. Now the fans congratulating Tyler Corvus being the new uh, Challenger's Choice Champion. All right, I'd like we first need to congratulate Tyler for um winning the Challenger Choice Championship and also awesome. Uh, well deserved, well deserved. Anyway, we would like to take a moment to uh thank all of our sponsors. Yes, yes. I know, settle down, settle down people. We we have We to have do this. sponsors. We have sponsors. We have to do this. Okay, we would like to. I have to. Oh my god. Yes, you have to. So much work. Okay, it's fine. You go first. Thank you, Smeal. We would like to take just a moment to thank all of our sponsors for their support of United Honored Wrestling. You can you can find their information and landmarks in the back of the arena and in our animation station. Well, this includes. Honey Blunt's designs get like me big baby animations by Derek Colt, Dominion Animations, Black Dragon Animations, Future Base Wrestling Gear, Absolute Animations, TyrusDenova.blogspot.com, Viper Studios, The Dollhouse Photography, and also Sinful Desires Dance Club. And we are also brought to you by MY Studio Productions, a company that not only creates both voice and video commercials, but produces game shows, talk shows, offers promotional marketing services, and more. Now hiring voice instructors, editors, actresses, and dependable graphic artists. Contact Rexy and Yoshiro for more information. All right, and the Abyssal Nickel Designs for all your eclectic desires. Abyssal Nickel Designs has the latest in mesh clothing as well as some men's clothing that are more coming soon. Visit them in the marketplace where you can find all of the latest and new twisted designs. They also do custom work at fair prices. Contract, contact Lelandra Lancaster in World for more details or pick up a note card to the marketplace store. The Dollhouse Photography. If you're looking for a special take on photography, check out the Dollhouse Photography right here. Let me close the link. Da -da -da -da. Taking appointments, so contact them today. All right. Uh, where? Have I? I lost my place. Ah, here we go. Make sure you visit our fan page on Facebook, where you can catch all the latest in happenings in the UHW, and if. You Anyone wants to keep abreast of in-world happenings, make sure you ask one of our management team for a UHW United Fanatics fan tag. On your way out, don't forget to stop by the official UHW merchandise shop located across the street. Pick up your posters, t-shirts, and other commemorative memorabilia, including one-of-a-kind authentic sports rugs of your favorite professional sports team. And... And don't forget, the UHW is proud to put on these amazing shows, but we couldn't do it without your generous support. There is a blue donation box right behind commentary. Yes, right behind us. And if you feel so inclined, please drop a few linen into it to keep to help us keep running. On behalf of everyone here at United Honored Wrestling, thank you for your support.
and uh, getting word from the back that the reason why we haven't updated the championship banners yet it's in in an effort to save money so they will not change the banners until the champions successfully defend the title like how many times what a cheapskate like seriously ah well defend i figured defend the title for the first time is this company like seriously poor i'm just wondering because they have to go through so many budget cuts or whatever i don't know well that does sound like it but anyway But regardless, we should be moving on to our next match. So without any further ado, and then, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can try to translate. I, I don't know if my uh, um, um, uh, my British accent might not be good enough, so I'll just say it. Um, okay, okay, cut me bloody music. I mean, it's already cut, but okay, whatever. Let's see what she has to say. What I'm doing? I won this belt like what a month ago now. But because of the idiots in the back not signing up, I've yet to defend it. I was just saying, and this means I have yet to get me banner up on the wall. The banner muck like ye old Union Jack. You thought my are representations of greatness. So, after a little chat with our beloved Mr. Smith in the back.
He has agreed to give me a title def the title defense match tonight. So you morons out there can gaze upon my greatness. Well, that wasn't very nice to say. Because no one in the back is worthy of this belt. Hmm, I guess you no know one is worthy of the belt. Not even Tara, who I adore, thinking she's royalty, but what's that compared to the honor of holding and defending this belt? In fact, no one in the back is worthy to be, to even be in the ring with me. Hmm. No. Well, I guess no one, you say no one in the back is, wait, looks like I beg to differ, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like someone has offered the challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Crimson Shadow. Not easy, not malice, definitely not tri bloody hell. Now Crimson coming with no one is worthy? Funny. Crimson Shadow goes, I go overseas for a good training session and someone is the new champ. All right. Congratulations, Justine. Justine saying, no one, especially not you. Crimson goes, while you might claim even I am not worthy. You will see sooner. Or later, but more towards the first. Mr. Asshat backstage will book it. He goes, you know why? Crimson goes, he wants money and knowing how well I'm with the fans, this is bound to happen, but... Oh, but Justine interrupts with, whoa, whoa, you left. What makes you think you can come back and immediately get a title shot? 
Why? Crimson goes, why? As she laughs. Why, why, why? I'll tell you. And it goes, no one else than me has been waiting patiently to get that belt around my waist. No one has been working harder than I have. So if I have to go more serious road to get that belt. So be it. However, I figured I'd do what most people do to a person they respect or respected. Is to that is to challenge you for that belt next week. If you don't lose it before then, that is. Ah, uh, this is interesting. Very interesting. Well, next week, really? You think you'll get a title shot next week? I have talked to Mr. Smith about this. Crimson goes, then we will find out then. But know this, if the match doesn't happen, it'll, it will sooner or later, and I will take that belt. Good luck in your match tonight, champ. Well, there you have it. Crimson Shadow issuing the challenge. And there it goes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, exiting the main stage, Justine. Do you have a cold, uh, uh, Jace? Why, yes, I think somebody's been tampering with my microphone. Oh, it almost sounded like you had a cold or something. Your voice was darker. But anyway, joining me today in the uh, commentary table is none other than Jace Hunter. How are you tonight? I'm doing well, doing well. That's very good. We just, we did hear from a, to, cap, to keep you up to speed, we did hear from Mr. Smith. 
he laid down the card for tonight. Uh, we had our first match, which we, which was the um, Challengers Choice Championship match against uh, James Icarus the third against Titus Corvus. Needless to say, we have a new Challengers Choice Champion in Tyler Corvus. Way to go, Tyler! It is definitely well deserved. And of course, as you just saw, uh, Justine believing that nobody would be able to take the women's championship away from her. But Crimson Shadow, she stepped up to the plate and actually challenged her ne for next week. And yes, I did see that Crimson coming out here and basically slapping Justine with a gauntlet, issuing that challenge. Well, anyway, it looks like we are ready for our second match. So, ladies and gentlemen, our second match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Beverly Hills, California, weighing in at 128 pounds, at a height of 5 foot 7, this is... Sorsha's Ferrari. Good God, kill me now. Get your singles ready, fellas. Ferrari's coming to the main stage. There you go, fellas. Start drawing some zeros at the end of those ones. She won't know the difference. Well, anyway. Well, and her opponent. You saw her before here. She hails from parts unknown, weighing in at 128 pounds, at a height of 5 foot 5. This is Crimson Shadow. All right, of course, our referee for tonight is none other than Alfie Denzel, our senior referee. And we are just getting ready to get started with match number two. Speaking of match number two, I do believe this is Swisher's only second match here in UHW. 
Yes, that is correct. She quickly went from a commentator to a wrestler in a pretty short amount of time. And there's the bell, and we are ready to go. And being that it's only her second bout here in UHW, I just want to point out that Ivana has more wins than Sorsha does. Well, regardless, starting it off with a Collins uh, elbow tie-up. Ooh, starting off with a wrist lock there. Now Sorsha coming with a wrist lock of her own. Oh, and now Grims Grimson flipping about. Oh, sending Sorsha right into the mat. Grimson going off the ropes, and Sorsha catching her with a drop kick. Sorsha getting some nice height up in there for that drop kick. Although I'm assuming that's because she got nothing upstairs weighing her down. That could be true, regardless. Sorsh in complete control now with a headlock onto Crimson. Crimson, I guess, not liking the. <laughs> oh, and now with a wrist lock wrenching that arm. I Submission hold abide here. I think that is Sorsh's. Uh, First carrying arm. Oh, and now a headlock takedown. And now both women are standing up. Alfie be checking to make sure it's not a choke. Irish whip goes Sorsha right into the corner. Oh, this is not good. Here comes Crimson with... Oh! Crimson trying to go straight to the corner, but Sorsha coming out of the corner, taking a vicious knee right to the gut. Now Sorsha in control of the match, going for the pin here. We have one. Two and no, only a two count, even though Sorsha was thinking, counting herself. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the quickness that she came out of that corner with that vicious knee. I didn't think she could actually think that fast. Heck, I didn't even know she can count that high, but anyway. According to her song, she can't. And let's see, what is Sosha going to do here? She's up in the corner. Oh, she's going up to the top. This may be good. This may be bad. But she's taking too long. She's Looking taking too pretty long. shaky up there. And there she goes with the flying loot. But no! Graves and catching her with a monkey flip. I don't think Sosha even thought that was going to happen. She didn't expect that. Absolutely not. In mid-air. Flipping her over. That's called using momentum. Now going for those roundhouse kicks there. Oh, just nailing her in the stomach. Now finishing off with the kick right through the midsection. And oh, tried to go for the octop looks like she tried to go for that octopus hold, but but no, Georgia shoving her out of the way. Goes to the kick. Oh uh running high knee right into the face. She's picked up quite a lot in the little time she's been here. I'm amazed that she's actually able to do some of these moves. Well, I mean, there's a cover there. One, two, and no. Only a two count. But 
Would you like some cheese with that? Uh, I don't understand. Cheese and wine. Oh, okay. Anyway, so it's uh, picking up uh, Crimson Shadow going off the ropes goes Crimson. Oh, spin wheel kick connecting. That'll take the wind out of your sails. Crimson saying, time to end this charade. You remember Crimson challenged uh, Justine for the title next week. And now going for Shadow's Trap. I'm honestly surprised Swish is not trying to guess. I have to say, if Crimson puts that on Justine next week, we may see a new champion. We need, may see a new women's champion here. So we're just screaming in the pain. Absolutely, that it looks like a pretty vicious hold there. You're wrenching backwards now. Sorsha just screaming and trying her best. And it looks like she taps. Sorsha has tapped. That's ladies ladies and gentlemen, your winner by submission. Crimson Shadow. And a more determined side to Crimson Shadow. No more Mr. Nice Girl. Uh, now, Alfie checking on Sorsha to make sure she's okay. Looks like Sorsha's uh, getting up. <laughs> and. have no words for that. You and me both, Jason. <laughs> you and me both. Talk about a sore loser. Uh, uh, yeah. Woo, okay. Um, well, that certainly caught me off guard. Of course, now she'll probably go running to daddy. Because people are being, oh, so mean! Yes, but still, that, that pretty was unnecessary. 
There's no crying and wrestling. Well, after that little fiasco, why don't we continue on with the show? Um, yeah, I still, I'm just still lost for words, but. And with that. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I still I figured I'd be polite, you know. Yep, I uh, know. Oh, Dom, Nick and I have been talking, and he's got a proposition for you, and I think it's a good one. Want to hear yeah, him out? Yeah. Dom, Dom, I have seen you work in this in, in wrestling before. You're a damn good per performer, but I think you can be better. I think with a little practice and a little training. You can be in within the same mentioned in the same sentence as Vince Easterwood, Wolfie Kessel, and all of the other greats in this industry. Okay? You know I get results. Just ask your wife. By the way, Malice, you've done amazing in the six months I've been working with you. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Nick, and if it wasn't for that douchebag last week, I still have my belt now, but... Yeah, yeah, but remember what I told you in the ring. His opinion doesn't mean shit. Okay? Yeah, I know, I know. But, Dom, there is one condition to Nick's offer. Yes, and I'm going to let you two discuss that, because I don't get involved in that sort of stuff, so... Mel, a uh, see see you Monday for practice, or hey, I'll catch with you on Monday. Okay, take care. Oh, and by the you way, too. Mel, um, I yeah. I haven't even told you this, but at my training center in Sacramento, not only do I have the world class gym and the video facilities and all that stuff, but I also have apartments that I give to the people I manage free of charge if they want. So. Discuss it. I know you guys have a lot to discuss, so think about it, and uh, it's out there if you want it. All right, Nick. I will give you a call later on this week and let you know what's going on. Okay. Take care. Dom, it was nice right. meeting you, sir. And the plot thickens. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Uh... That, I was obviously Dominic uh, Fate Weaver with um, with Malice there, and we all know now Malice is in line with uh, Nick Holderman. But you gotta wonder, I wonder what that condition is, and more importantly, you know what what is Dominic thinking? I don't know, but it does prove one thing, that Mr. Smith is a lazy GM. That uh, video was obviously recorded a couple of weeks ago, and he did not edit out the douchebag comment. Considering we were off for a week and a half. That's true. That is true, but still, you know, it, it makes you kind of wonder. Somebody... Save me. Seriously, just save me. Well, now we are being joined by Elias uh, Swiftwind. Is anyone Hello, fixing eardrums after they've been ruptured? Thank God for noise canceling headphones.
Well, Miss uh, Senora Swiftwind, Senor Hunter, um, I must be getting to the back. All right, there. And if you find a ball gag, please apply it to Sorsha, please. No, I'll just go and get my earplugs. Or just listen to my Spanish music. It, trust me, that'll calm me down. Yeah, but that's not going to spare everybody else's ears. I know. Not sure exactly what she's planning on getting accomplished by screaming and throwing a tantrum in the middle of the ring, but it's Apparently not going to help. Apparently she thinks it's going to get her somewhere, so... Alright, but it looks like we are about ready to get moving. Alright then. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a non-title match. As our women's champion will be taking on the challenger, which isn't really a challenge because the belt's not on the line, but here we go. From Okinawa, Japan, standing five foot eight, weighing in at one hundred thirty-two pounds. This is Chiyoko. And her opponent from Harwich, Essex, UK, standing five foot seven, weighing in at one hundred twenty-five pounds, one hundred twenty-seven pounds. She is your USW Women's Champion, Justine Time. Though you do have to say, this is somewhat slightly counterintuitive. You know, as much as Gioco is a newcomer here to UHW, you would they think... Okay, a Mr. Smith, excuse me, I had to think of his actual name, would have made this a title match. Just so the brat gets her championship banner. Knowing that slime ball, I wouldn't put it past him for giving her a banner even though she did not defend the belt. Oh, really?
All right, our referee, Alfie Denzo, double-checking to make sure these ladies are ready. And there you have it. Chocolate Jacobo, huh? Let's dance. Does it just make me, or does it se seem like like I'm like one of the few ones oh, that can only pronounce names around here? As long as it's not the name of a wrestling move. Well, yeah. Okay, this match started out in a bit of a brawl, and now it looks like they're at least making an attempt to go a little bit more technical. And I know how to pronounce stuff, I just pronounce it the way it's spelled. Oh, and Justine taking advantage of the positioning. Keep it. Chiyoko pinned there in the corner. Alfie starting the five count count to get her to break it up. Oh, don't you play Miss Innocent. Measuring her up. Eat it, sucker! Ooh, nasty little kick. Well, looks like a little bit of a miscalculation there. But she's a wrestling champion who needs math. Oh, and just a punt to the nose. Not like kicking somebody while they're down. And a cover. One, two. Just a two uh, count. Can I take a lot more than that to keep the champ down? Come on, I can take you. Oh, and Justine making a tactical retreat as Chioka was waiting ready for her. Taking a minute to catch her breath, reorganize her strategy. Referee trying to make sure that they get back in the ring. Oh, Justine taking a shot over the ropes, forcing Chioka to back up. Vaulting over the ropes into a sunset flip. 
One, two! Nearly had her there! One, two. Just you going for the leg drop, but nobody home. Jericho haven't gotten the hell out of dodge before that. Somebody might have to go visit the chiropractor tomorrow. No, Chioka looks like she's doing a darn good jo job of readjusting Justine's back. Picking her up by the hair. Making a point of keeping her under control. Got her in the chicken wing, the move that's not used very much anymore. Oh, and throwback suplex. Nice move. Uh, vicious stomp to the head there. Oh, and another boot to the face. And a cover. Only two. Just ain't having to waste a lot of energy to get that count broke. Was it good for you? And taking her down with a series of elbows and punches. But to the gut and she go off the ropes. Breaker. Joking that now with the cover. Ooh, quick one. Just a two count. And that sounded quite vulgar as much as I didn't understand what that was, so... Backing off, giving your opponent a little bit of a chance to get up. Oh, 
Chiyoko coming in, Justine being smart enough to drop her to her face. Aw, oh, come on, Justine, get off of her! Pulling out all the stops here. Riding the foot into the throat. And then stomping! Justine, right back to the choke as soon as she could, this time driving her knee into the neck. Sound strategy, even if the belt was on the line, getting herself DQ'd would keep the belt on her. Oh, Justine, certainly not appreciative of that count. Enough hand gestures in that argument to think both of these guys are from New York. Taking advantage of the argument that come up behind with the spin heel kick. Off the ropes. Off the ropes. Nasty little knee. Justine. Crawling away to the ropes here. Oh, uh, but it looks like Shioko has another idea in mind as she gra grabs Justine's foot and hauls her back to center. Shioko not now locking in the crab. Is that, is that what that is? That is a single leg crab, yes. Justine making the claw for the ropes. Looks like she's got them. Chioka's going to have to break the hold here. Taking your time in doing so. Okay. Does have their account of four. Said, uh, just Dean took with the counts. I think it's only just a little bit fair that Chioka goes ahead and takes advantage of it as well. Scoreboy! Oh, cover! One! Two! Close, but no cigar.
Yeah, guys, saying it's time for one more ride. Grabbing that leg yet again. Spinning toe hold. I uh, just getting our legs tangled up that there or elbow the boot. Chiyoko running over those knees. Justine crawling desperately trying to get to the ropes. And once again she's got the ropes. And Alfie's forced to count again. Alfie having to use that count. Neither one of these ladies holding anything back. This has been one hell of a matchup so far. Oh, but it looks like maybe we are having a little bit of an issue here. Justine yelling for Alfie to come check her knee. Tomorrow, Justine will be saying I would go for a run, but I took a Chiyoko to the knee. Face palm. Chiyoko not wait waiting, but Justine pulled Alfie in the way. Is that what happened? I couldn't see it from my vantage point. It looked like Chiyoko just hit Alfie. No! I'm guessing that's exactly what happened because I saw Alfie lurch forward long before Chi even connected with it. He may have been just checking on her ankle or knee. I guess the world will never know. There's something you'll have to go back and watch the video over and over and over. In slow motion. What, you're like, you're, you're going to, to see stuff? Yeah! Oh, Sonic Screwdriver connects! Referee's still out, though. Justine trying to wake Alfie up. Yoko still waiting on the mat. Justine's picking her up and locking in the and Bob yeah. her uncle. And Shioko with a string of obscenities, expletive deleted.
Many a woman has tapped out to this hold. Christine's screaming, you watching Crimson? Gotta say, I'm amazed at the flexibility of Justine here. And Yoko goes ahead and gives up. Justine not letting go. Wanting to send a message to Crimson. And the winner of the match is Justine Time! And still UHW Women's Champion because the belt wasn't on the line. And certainly not appreciating Justine right about now. Justine t taking that blindsided shot on Chiyoko. I guess you could say Chiyoko just got Union Jacked. Okay, Shirley, if you're going to keep doing that, I, I'm going to have to go backstage and, like, take some headache powder or something. God. Why, am I punishing you? Chase, stop. And with that, I think it's time to give us a shout out to our sponsors. And roll that footage. Production. Looks like Joe's sleeping on the job again.
you know what that means? That means it's time for our main event. Is everybody ready? Eh, you don't sound ready enough. I think we need to play another commercial. Yay for commercials! The crowd is doing everything except chanting, This is awesome before the match even starts. I think we're ready for the main event. Then without further ado, ladies and gentlemen. Coming to the ring first is the challenger. From Newark, New Jersey, standing six foot five, weighing two hundred thirty five pounds. He is the Midnight Wolf, Wolfie Kessel. And the champion, he hails from Sunderland, England. He stands at seven foot three, weighs in at three hundred and fifty pounds. He is your United Universal Champion, Mac Galef.
Alright, these two ready to square off. Yeah, and as always, when these two face off, this is going to be one hell of a match. And there's the bell. Very quickly locking up here. Mac imposing his will on Wolfie, shoving him back into the corner. Taking the high road, being the gentleman, and letting up. Now grabbing in the front face lock. Apparently, and... Wolfie didn't want to go anywhere because Snap Suplex is what finally gets him out of that corner. Wolfie with a headbutt. Rushing in only to be caught with a power slam. So far it doesn't bode well for Wolfie, but the longer this match goes and the more punishment that Mac dishes out, it may not bode well for Mac, because Wolfie's going to start getting more and more angry. Oh, drop kick takes him down. Normally, you want to make your opponent angry, because it makes them confused, slows them down. But Wolfie, now that he's taken on this more feral side, he's relying more on instinct and less on brain. So it may come out to his advantage. Oh! And quick with the cover, we got a one. Two! No! Matt sending him back into the corner. And turn buckle thrust. And Irish whipping him across the ring to the opposite side. And the corner knee strikes. Wolfie staggering here. Ooh, nasty chop. Not just taking it to Wolfie in the corner there. Oh, and ow! Planting his face on the turnbuckle.
Man, coming in on the knee now. And going back to the gut. Well, Max got to find something. Wolfie well, now off the ropes. Ooh! Sound strategy there, working on the legs and the gut. Can't breathe, can't walk, can't fight. But Wolfie used to his quickness with that high knee, taking Mac down. And Wolfie climbing up to the top. Not sure if this is going to be a good idea or not. Oh! Turns out not as Wolfie flies off the ropes with the crossbody, but Matt catches him in midair with the Gorilla Press Slam. Macbert really staying on top of Wolfie not now. Ooh! Actually, surprised Wolfie said stay detached with that one. Absolutely. Ooh! Boot to the nose. And ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder, if you do find parts of wrestlers out in the audience, you have to return them. We gotta cover one, two, no. And for the best possibility of reattachment, please ice them down first. I'm not getting a little frustrated here. Back with the Irish Whip Wolfie catching the ropes. Oh, but we all know, know what Max thinking when he does that. Charge! Ooh, yes, and Wolfie apparently learned that lesson entirely too well. well back body drop, knocking Mac to the outside. It looked like a Mac truck barreling down on a helpless wolf in the middle of the road, but Wolfie managed to get out of the way and avoid that collision. Suicide dive! Both men just withering on the outside there. I mean, not expecting anything less, because they b both went and asked over to Tea Kettle.
Not coming in. Oh, Wolfie, quick with that! Vulcan knocks her head off the apron. That's gonna hurt in the morning. That's an excedrin headache. Hell, it probably hurts right now. I honestly was expecting somebody to go, yes, yeah, think. <laughs> Ma managing to get in the ring as well before the count. And Wolfie we'll right see. We'll see with those educated feet. Feral Rage 2.0 and going for the cover. And a two count. These boys are having to dig deep, deep in this one. Wolfie off the ropes. Time for the Hurricane No! And I think I see just a touch of blood. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, that is what it is. Wolfie grab back grabbing Wolfie by the leg. Be more than what well aware of the positioning in the ring. Oh, once again, in for the knee. And Mac with a bear hug. Once again, working over the lungs. Can't breathe, can't fight. Punctuating it with that suplex. Oh, dear Lord. Gonna hold him and love him, squeeze him, and love him forever, and call him George. Well, that's certainly one way of doing it. Picking him up in the torture rack. This could actually work out against Mac here. If Wolfie refuses to give, he f putting a lot of strain could be losing a little more blood than he actually needs to. How long can Wolfie hold out? How much blood can Mac lose before he starts getting a little dizzy from holding a man up on his shoulders?
But the pain is too much as Wolfie taps. And Mac wins via submission. Still your United Universal Champion, Mac Galis. This has certainly been one hell of a match. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think that does it for our show here today. On behalf of Manuel and Kyrie, this is... And you go ahead on. Jace Hunter. And I'm Elias Swithland. Have a great night, everybody. Catch you next week. Hopefully, Mr. Smith doesn't cancel any more shows. <sighs> Yeah. Anyway, catch you next week. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, Day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions, and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, 
and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.